Hey folks, Jay Reno here. Welcome back, playing some more StarCraft II, continuing my playthrough of the Campaign Collection, starting the mission pack, Nova Covert Ops. The Dominion's best psionic assassin, Nova Terra, has been missing for months. She now awakens in an unknown military facility with no memory of the events that brought her there, only a sense that danger is near. Isn't danger always near in StarCraft? After a few years of peace, the Zerg have returned to strike unpredictably at Dominion Worlds. Emperor Valerian has tried to reassure the frightened populace, but some citizens remain unconvinced. Together they have formed an opposition faction, the Defenders of Man. Meanwhile, the Dominion military has lost all contact with several of its ghosts, including its deadliest agent, Nova, and the rest of her team, Stone, Delta, and Pierce. Their fates remain uncertain. Agent X four one eight two two N. Prepare for routine equipment check. What? I, I, where am I? <laughs> Operational details have been classified for your protection. Memory gaps are a standard side effect. Stand and lower your visor for software calibration. with your visor, Agent? No. The calibration's complete. Right. You're disoriented. Remain calm. Next, we'll test the cloaking functionality on your hostile environment suit. Understood. Enable your cloaking device at this time. <laughs> Functionality verified. You may decloak. Decloak, agent. Code 54. Rogue agent. Send reinforcements immediately. <laughs> Nova here. I'm on an encrypted connection, and I need retrieval now. I can't remember what happened. Nova? I think they wiped your memories. We're being held prisoner in a shielded facility. We'll have to escape to contact the Dominion. Weren't we on a mission? What happened? A whole lot of bad luck. But we'll figure it out. Head to the armory. You're gonna need a weapon. Isn't going to be easy. Escape! All right, we can instant kill, guys. The rogue agent is nearby. If she won't cooperate, neutralize her. Be sure you stay out of their sight. Understood. Oh, really? I was going to walk right in front of them and alert them of my presence. All right, we got an instant kill, like I was saying. What's that sound? Got you didn't hear nothing. You heard nothing. All right. So we're going to run around and kill these guys very close to their buddies. If they're close enough together, they do cower in fear and try to find you, but they can't because we're cloaked. Stay sharp. This agent is extremely dangerous. It's true. So see, like, those two guys. They get confused, but then dead within a matter of seconds. It's a little better than the sniper Understood. rifle, I'd say. I can't one-shot guys. Get out there and find her. On the move. See you later, suckers. Get some extra dialogue coming on down here. Wrangler Maxwell's confirmed dead. How could she do this? Uh, it went something like this. I mean, we did smash his head into a console, but it was very similar. Execute. Yeah, so the gun, we can't one-shot guys, obviously, though, we're ranged. So we're gonna be a little safer Got distance. It. There we go. C-20A canister rifle. Alright, I've got a rifle. 
Nice. But you'll need more than that. Head to the research bay next. Alright, we'll wait for a moment to get some dialogue. Shouldn't be a problem sniping these guys. You always were a great shot. Thank you. Messy. Alright, and then we're gonna learn how to shift Q up our snipes coming up here soon. Rogue agents on to us. Move, move, move. These poor guys, they, they can't jump away. They have to just run. She's gone. Get out of here. They're cowards. So we'll just kill some of these guys again because they're cowards. And I'm going to run onwards. We can leave those guys. It doesn't matter. Running into some heavy resistance here. Just avoid it for now. Right. So if we take a shot. It's no use. They just send reinforcements. Going to be easy. They just respawn. So let's go and pick up the best. There should be pulse grenades near you. We'll take out groups of enemies. Understood. The best item to ever exist in this game. Good. A hundred damage. En route. Worked like a charm. Pierce and Delta are being held here too. It's not gonna be easy to reach all of us. We're a team. We're getting out together. And then I wanna know what the hell happened here. This could get messy. Okay, so we're gonna go and grab us some extra energy. Attention. This facility's termination sequence has been activated. They're on to us. Heading out. Not what we needed. Nova, they're coming for us. You have to move quick. Doing my best here. Okay. So let's head down and let's take, take out the group that's attacking our our first buddy down here. That's Delta, right? So one of the achievements is to not take any damage from the flame turret. As long as you're outside of the detection range, you won't take Better any hurry. damage. The other achievement is to kill a bunch of units with snipe. Execute the Dominion ghosts. Nah, dog. You're not executing anybody. Executing. I thought they were gonna kill me. We should try to get the others. I can't let them die here. Of course. I'm right behind you. Okay, let's go get out. Pierce and then we can double back. And then we'll go up and get Stone. Now these guys are optional, but uh this way. They add a lot of DPS. And they're pretty easy to keep alive once you get them. These soldiers aren't from the Dominion. What's happening, Nova? Nothing makes sense. Last mission went wrong. I think we were captured. Follow me. Two random predators that just get blown up. I always thought that those were secrets. Like, if you clicked on them, they'd be named something interesting. But no, they're just predators. Just normal predators. All right, so yeah, we're going to head through there, and we're going to save Stone. You don't even have to save Stone. He's also an optional objective. But then you get him in the next section of the map. And you kind of have to pick him up this. because you have to kill a bunch of enemies to even get out in the first place. Executing. Okay, let's run up here and grab this. this it also heals our buddies. These poor guys running through the flame. Heading out. Okay, I don't think we've taken any damage from the fire, so we're doing good. The mastery, by the way, is at the end of the map, so don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all. We'll get it. But you don't even have to think about it till the very, very end. Okay, those guys, they, they they kept me back, so we'll uh, we'll wait, make another round right. here. Our buddies, Pierce and Delta, are still alive. En route. Okay, so we want to wait until we have enough energy for three snipes. And we're going to queue up our snipes on these ghosts. So like this, and this, and this. Understood. Done. So now all we have to do is just kind of hang out here, and we'll just very slowly kill these guys, because we got rid of everything else. Again, that shift queue is very important. We can get, you know, a couple extra kills with Snipe here for that achievement, but we'll get most of those in the second section where we'll be getting a lot of kills with Snipe. Thank God you made it. Let's go. Come on. We're all getting out of here. Good. Okay, let's head out. Again, I think you don't even have to kill all those units. You can just run to the beacon and not save any of them. But of course we're going to. Wait, we're in Sharpsburg. We can contact the Dominion forces in this city. We should get off world first. No way of knowing who's a spy here. There are shuttles up ahead. The fastest way to them would be with these vultures. Our chances are better if we split up. Pierce and I will go separately. Good luck out there. All right. 
We better get going, Stone. All right, we battle toads now, boys. Well, this is considerably easier than the battle toad sewer level, but. Gotta be careful. There are civilians around here. Okay, so there's a boss at the end of this, and the master is to not take any damage from the boss. So, not really a big deal. I'm sorry, you were saying something, unnamed enemy trooper? So there's civ there are civilians on the road. Uh, there's not an achievement for not hitting any, but it's on the score screen, so you know your boy's gonna try not to bump into any of those. And we're gonna try to keep Stone alive as well, because he adds a lot to the boss, like a lot of damage to the boss, so it uh, it helps a lot to, to bring him to the end. Not to make it easier per se, but to make it go a little faster. So these guys on vultures are ghosts, and uh, and they can snipe you. So they, they do deal a lot of damage, so it is important to, to use your energy to snipe them where possible. Nova, the enemy's coming up right behind us. <sighs> these bastards don't know when to give up. We'll take care of them. So the Hellions... They just shoot fire, and we're not light units, so we can just auto-attack these. This is this section's kind of all about managing your energy and knowing what to auto-attack and what to use snipe on. And sometimes it's just luck based on when the, the health pickups spawn, because some of them, uh, they, they spawn when you're at low HP. So if you're not at low HP at a specific point, and then you lose a bunch of health, it just it, it all just depends on how they spawn and when you can pick them up, and if you can manage to survive and then also keep stone alive. But like here, again, you want to snipe the, the ghosts on the vultures before they snipe you, and then you can just auto-attack the Hellions no problem. And we want to make sure that we stay at relatively high energy where possible as we move from section to section. Okay, stone's taking a decent amount of damage, but he should be fine. Again, once we take enough damage, it'll spawn one of those health pickups. I think I think one or two of them spawn at specific points anyway, like at checkpoints. So even if we're not low HP like there, it'll still spawn them. Banshees overhead. Okay, and then we definitely want to snipe the Banshees. We can't one-shot them, but we can hit them once with and then with an auto attack, and then they go down. So not too bad. Again, it's just focusing on where you want to use your abilities and when. And then also trying to keep Stone alive. Stone is kind of challenging to keep alive through this section, but he's not too bad. Not too bad to keep alive. So yeah, I'm going to focus on the Banshees here and then make sure you auto attack them with the follow up rather than sniping them once and letting them sit at low HP and dealing, dealing a bunch of damage to us. So coming up here, we should have an opportunity to spawn a health pickup because our HP is like, eh, it's okay. I mean, a lot of enemies are going to be spawning here, specifically the ghosts that do a lot of damage to us, and the obvious, and the banshees too. So I don't have enough energy to do anything, but then we kind of rush forward, we grab this stuff. I'm just going to ignore the hellion. Okay, and we're taking a boatload of damage here, but I didn't have enough to snipe. All right. Okay, Stone is alive. I don't think we hit any civilians. Okay, he just runs into those. There's really nothing we can do about that. Just something with the, the AI. Like, he avoids them, but then moves at the last second. But I think, yeah, I was going to say, every so often it still spawns these things to help heal you and him. So again, the Master here is to not take any damage. It also spawns Banshees, so it, it's okay to make sure you save enough energy to always snipe the banshees when they spawn. I think he might spawn one or two. It's not a ton. So we snipe him, but then save enough energy. If I'm going to take damage, it's going to be the laser, because it'll, it'll do the laser a second time when it's lower HP. And it'll, it'll happen a lot faster, so it's actually quite hard to avoid taking damage from it. But again, we'll do our best. Avoid the missiles. Try to keep stone alive through this. Kill the Banshees. The aiming can be a little finicky when you right-click, so that's the thing. You might accidentally right-click into the into the missiles or something, you know? Okay, we're doing good. Saving my energy. 
very soon. I think it's going to use the laser again. There it is. Yeah, see, it, it very quickly then shoots it. If you know when it's going to do it, it's a lot easier to avoid, obviously. There we go. No damage taken as far as I can tell, and we made it with stone still alive. We made it. You go on ahead, Nova. I'll catch the next one. Not until you give me some answers. Do you want to know what happened or get out of here in one piece? Just go. Fine. I'll catch the next one? Sure. Okay, 56 kills with Snipe. You get a lot of those in the Battletoads section. Only needed 20. Do not take any damage from Flame Turrets. Indeed, and we hit no civilian vehicles. There's nothing here that specifically says, hey, you didn't take any damage from the boss, but it, I'm pretty certain we did not. So for Nova Covert Ops, I'm going to end the missions on the score screens just because the cinematics are relatively short, and uh, I think they fit better with the beginnings of missions, and there's no hub area where we can sit and end missions like we did uh, back when we were playing the original three campaigns, like with the Hyperion, the Leviathan, and the Spear of a Dune. So instead, we're just going to end them all on the, the score screen, and then we'll watch cinematics and such when we start the next mission. Okay, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.